Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a chickpea burger. So I'm just mashing the chickpeas with the end of the fork. And chickpeas are packed with fiber and protein, so they're the perfect replacement for meat. Turn the heat on. We're just going to give it a good dice. Just like that. Next are our peppers. These are long green peppers. And what you want to do before you chop them is you want to remove the stems, cut down the length of it, and get rid of the flesh and the seeds. Because they're hard to chew and they're a little bit annoying. Usually by using the end of your knife and just scraping through like that. So we're just going to cut. We're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. The pan should already be hot before we add the olive oil or else the veggies will stick. So we're going to take our onions and pepper and just put them in the pan. We want those to get a head start while we chop our garlic and our scallions. So we have our scallion here. We're going to take off the end. Chop it in half, and then dice through it roughly. Then we're going to take our garlic, smash them, remove the peel. Let's give this a toss. You want to wait until the onions are transparent, and then you can start adding the other ingredients, including our spices. So the spices that we're going to be using today are paprika, cumin, coriander, salt, and pepper. So first with our salt, about one teaspoon, our coriander, cumin. The cumin is really what gives it the flavor, the burger flavor. And the paprika. This is sweet paprika, but you could always use hot paprika as well. We're going to add our garlic and scallions. And this will cook for about two to three minutes more, or until the onions are completely tender. And I almost forgot to add the pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more oil because I can tell that this is getting a little dry. You can see the vegetables breaking down and they're actually quite juicy. We don't want to cook them all the way because later we're going to be popping these burgers in the oven and we want to make sure that they have some room to cook some more. Okay, so this looks done, so I'm going to turn the oven off and I'm going to directly add this to our chickpea mixture. Now the secret to this dish and the secret to most burgers, especially when they're vegan, is that you want to make them stick together and it's really hard to do that if you don't have egg in there. But instead of those, I'm going to be using some oats. This is about three tablespoons of ground oats. And to ground these oats, all you have to do is pop regular oats into a food processor, pulse it a few times, and they become like this. So I'm going to add three tablespoons to this mixture. It looks warm enough and it's clumping together, so I think I'm going to start shaping them into burgers. So now I'm going to start making the burgers. I'm going to get a good handful, just like that, and start shaping them. And you can tell, they're holding together really well. They're not even falling apart at all when I toss them. And plop them down. And what I love about this dish is that you can actually see the large chunks. And for that reason, we didn't cut any of the vegetables too small. So I've shaped all the burgers. Now I'm going to drizzle with olive oil. Just so they don't stick. And it also makes them very crispy on top like that. So I'm going to pop these into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. It looks like our burger is done, so I'm going to take them out of the oven. Here they are. Just on top of our lettuce. I'm going to add a little bit of mustard, tomato, some onions, some avocado. 
And there you go, your chickpea burger. I hope you guys enjoy this one and it actually convinces you to eat more veggies.